<laughs> Hello, welcome to the first episode of season two. two. Not season one, <laughs> season two. I keep saying season one. It's 2024, off Katie. Because it's 2024. Can we really? We made it. We made it. We made it. You know, um, I there were some periods I wasn't really sure if we were going to make it through 2023. <laughs> well, and I, I think that's kind of a common theme amongst well, people that I talk to. Yeah, well, remember how in early December we had this conversation of this new movie all about, what is it, the life that used to be or yeah. some catastrophic kind of like here the confessions of all the conspiracies materializing, which we have been super programmed by many, many years. Oh, yeah. yeah. And an invasion. You're talking about that new world. film that just came out? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And so I call up Katie. I'm like, Katie, what yeah. the heck with this? She's like, no, 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 Jesse, this is just a distraction. And what I'm like, seriously, all the messages that we are both receiving, this makes absolutely no sense. Mm-hmm. And I know within my yeah. heart, we're legit on our yeah. highest timeline because we are materializing, actually taking aligned actions yeah. to deviate from yeah. the old programming. No. And I went ahead and pulled cards, remember? Yeah. The yep. turtle and the raven. Yep. Turtle meaning in, in Native American medicine, the Mother Earth and Raven symbolizes the magic. Yes. That is the message of the void where it all begins, just like the yes. womb of the mother. Yes. Is where life begins. Yes. So it's a whole shift in consciousness. That yes. We're... Oh my God. Absolutely. Go but ahead. backstory for yes. people who aren't able to follow along so far. <laughs> oh, we're talking about that movie that came out in what was it, the beginning or middle of December, mm-hmm. where I was talking about how the world's coming in. And there's a lot of conspiracy theories of this is what is to come over the next few weeks, right. uh, the ending of December, the beginning of January. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of what we're talking about is is the movie and the conspiracy theories behind that and how even though everybody's talking about this is kind of where maybe 2024 may be going, mm-hmm. I don't feel that in any way, no. shape, or form. No, on the contrary, um, I think it's the death. The opposite. I think it's, it's the death of the old ways and it's the bringing of the new of the new ways. Right. However, I believe there are certain energies that are trying to maybe instill a level of fear and to keep us kind of shackled or trapped but i think people are are waking up and they're they're mm-hmm. too clever i think we're becoming i don't think we can see the illusions it's now. The illusions. I think people are able to see the illusions. They're able to see the Maya. Mm-hmm. And they're able to see beyond the Maya. And the Maya is just the veil of illusion. Right. Um, is I think we've discussed it in the past, especially, you know, there's there's the story of how Maya, the goddess Maya, was created and she was created by Brahma to create the illusion. Uh, and then the greatest gift of mankind is to see past um excuse me, see past the illusion. That's the confirmation, I think, from yes, spirit. Yes. Um, <laughs> is to see past the illusion. I mean, it's a story of Brahma and Maya right. from, you know, creation of from the Hindu perspective. Right. Um, and the greatest thing that we're supposed to do as humans is see past it. And I think that's where we are. We're getting to the point where people not, might not be able to see past it, right. but they're able to identify like, okay, why? Right, why? right, right. Why and I think happening? that... Why? Now, 2024, bringing it back to their children, yeah. they are seen mm. much more clear. And yeah. even us as parents, uh, this last few weeks, it yeah. has been all about seeing the illusion. And I think that's what's materializing now in the physical world, that we are now visibly seen. Yeah. Seen. Before, people used to believe, I have to see it to believe it. Now, yeah. people are trusting that they can what they know within them now it projects outwards because that's how co-creation happens yeah we bring it into your consciousness first and then it materializes not the not the other way around yeah and now the coin is being flipped where we can now see the illusions and take actionable steps away from the old paradigm that kept us stuck yes and i don't know if we're being redundant throughout the whole first season but it's i really want to motivate everybody and know that encourage give them like that boost of confidence yeah that we are materializing by spreading this conversation by sharing podcasts like this well i don't think you can be too redundant on this simply because i always tell my children that a massive red flag Mm -hmm. for me personally are people who want the conversation over very quickly and don't want you asking why 
Because if they don't want you asking why and if they want the conversation over, it's because they don't want you to find out something. They don't want to tell you something or they may not know themselves, but yet they're pushing an agenda on you. Right. And so to me, I don't think there's a thing as being too redundant, especially on this topic of awakening, simply because the, the mass of population is unfortunately still kind of stuck in the matrix of it all mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it brings me back um, something that has been coming up and I know the children because they have they don't have all the blockages no. of yeah. noise they are feeling they're returning back that communion and communication yeah. with and I'm going to be speaking of the great spirit of all the consciousness yeah. that exists yeah. yeah they can hear the plants they can talk to the animals they can hear their ancestors and it's again like you yeah. said burpee, so burpee right? <laughs> and it's, it's, our, we like to joke that our spirit team makes us very gassy when yes. they like what we're saying yes and so right now uh they're coming forward like the forest spirit yeah. it's super super tangible the yeah. the communicate and i feel this yes i'm speaking which is another way for me yeah that now in 2024 also parents can now feel the same way they can also have the it's we're returning to our truth yeah yeah we are part of the land there is no well, such thing as separation between races or genders or species it's all stems from one same unit creation we just have different expressions of how we are materializing in this realm and when we return to that origin that we are truly one everything truly. has a life everything everything and energy does not die it simply transforms so it's another expression as yeah. a plant it's one expression as an animal it's another expression as a family member a society etc so like everything it's yeah. an energy and we're returning back to that yes. but their children are leading because they are showing us yeah they are showing us that that identity that we had forgotten as humanity yeah and this is where 2024 we are we're taking the it's like we're crawling back we're crawling back but we're also opening doors that like you said to have to see it to believe it that we didn't know maybe existed like um and to be honest with you i'm gonna mm -hmm. say what i have to say and i don't know if i'm gonna edit it out so we're gonna okay, see okay we'll see, we'll um, see. so i had an experience the other day and i hadn't told spoken to you about it either um yes, Jane, so you my, haven't <laughs> no my i have a saint bernard and he put a hole in the door of his cage because he was bored one day. He just chewed a door. He chewed a hole in it. But now he can wiggle his little butt through the the dog run, and then and he's he doesn't cause trouble. He's just he's very socially and I we joke he he's just nosy and he wants to go check on all the neighbors and you know all the neighbors like him. They pet him and then they tell him to come home and he comes home eventually. Well, it was like at six thirty in the morning and I let him out and it's still dark here and it was mm -hmm. just it was a morning that we were having one of the heavy snowfalls and. I was standing out at his cage door just waiting for him to do his business and come back in. And then all of a sudden, every hair and shackle, like everything stood up on the back of me. Mm. Every single thing. And Bear, my St. Bernard, started going crazy. Bark, 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 crazy. bark, <laughs> bark, bark. I mean, he, and he was like looking up in the mountainside, but it's dark so he couldn't really mm -hmm. see. But he was going nuts. And I... I know I was being watched. I know it wasn't of a benevolent mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. And I said to it, and I just looked, I, but normally I would have had a horrible fear and ran back inside. And But I didn't, I stood my ground and I stood out there and I said, you know what, try it. Because I have the fiercest uh, guardians out here. Mm -hmm. Try it, I have the fiercest guardians. And then in the distance, now we did it in season one we did a podcast by this guy named willow shire and i'm not going to say all i'm going to say is he he brought up a topic of uh of beings that he has relationships with and all of a sudden i saw these red lights in the mountainside in the distance these like mm -hmm. red beating eyes and i heard a <sighs> come up mm -hmm. and then this thing but i wasn't scared of the growl or the mm -hmm. the red eyes and because I knew when I said I have the fiercest set of guardians out here, mm -hmm. I knew it was one of my guardians. And all of a sudden, I felt this maleficent energy just vanish, like it take, mm -hmm. bolt mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. And then I heard, like, whatever growled start laughing. And then I just <laughs> came right back in. And I thought, <laughs> I, you know, and then, it was, you know, I got inside, I was like, 
fuck am I awake I'm a, I'm a, I know I'm awake I mean like I'm making breakfast I'm making my kids their it's smoothies six in the morning okay and but I was like what just happened um and so I you know let's put it this way I won't edit it out if our interference isn't interfered with our yeah. video interference yeah no I don't think so so yeah um but like I said so I think we're going to be experiencing um we're being com- we are relationships that we didn't know existed yes we are being you know guided we have you know even what like is it? uh the word we're going to be confronting our biggest fears yeah. because now we are ready yeah to go ahead and see it for what it is yeah. and while we ignore it that's when it can hold power because yeah. fear stems from lack of knowledge. It's that's what that's it is. It. And I know they say that the, the phase is um, ignorance is bliss, but ignorance isn't bliss. It just keeps you sha- you're blindedly shackled. Mm-hmm. You know, ignorance isn't bliss because ignorance is when you are in the cage and you get an opportunity of the key or a piece of bread and you're in that cage starving. Mm-hmm. You choose the piece of bread rather than the key. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, you know, the ignorance keeps you shackled. Mm-hmm. And you know, I I, you know, I was, I had to travel back to where I grew up last September and I was sitting there with my, with my family at lunch one day, my parents and my sister and her family. And we were talking, you know, and you know, they were all laughing at me because coming from the Midwest, the conversation of Sasquatches is not, it's not a conversation you have, but when you live in Alaska, you cannot live in a place as wild as this and a thousand percent say there's no such thing. We have there's stickers. No such thing. Like, right? Branded like, Alaska stickers that, with a Sasquatch figure. But like, but the thing is, and then like, even like my sister and her husband, they were laughing and they're like, Katie, how you can never get a clear photo of it. And, you know, and I, all I can say, you know, to people with that argument is, is Sas- if these energies that are here want to talk, Katie. are so much more sophisticated than what we give them acknowledgement for, mm-hmm. number one. And number two, they are only going to show people that they trust. And if they don't trust you, they're not going to show you. And people who are wanting to take video to expose them want to do them harm. Mm-hmm. Right? They're guardians of the land. They're, they are guardians they of the land. They work with a tree spirit and they're, they're guardians. They're guardians. They're... they're their role on earth is not to become famous or no. to interact. No. It's to protect. Contain the calm yeah. of respecting the forest. Yes. To be one with the forest. You can interact and they'll show themselves. Yes. When you are in alignment yes. with the forest. The forest yeah. has wisdom and knowledge and I am Channeling. Yeah. You're channeling right now. And I, I and it's mm-hmm. been literally transcribing the books that I'm wor- that I'm working on right now. Mm-hmm. And what they want is for humanity to return return their consciousness and connections with the land because they're guardian of their spirit. And once you're in alignment in that frequency, they will show themselves to you because they're not here to become popular. No. They're here to assist. And when you're here to assist, you're not looking for fame. No. You're not looking for labels. You're not looking for pictures. That's that's so vain. That's 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 vain. But when I tell people and I have a lot of past life memories. Uh and I can, you know, I, I joke that I can go back into my Kashuk records like the Rolodex of an old school library. Yes, yes, you know, she, like she I can, can go in there and I Oh, this is what I need. Um, But I, when life feels heavy and when life feels hard and chaotic, the lives I go back to aren't these big, amazing, powerful lives. They're the simple lives where I was a carpenter or I was a farmer and I was, you know, or like I was a housewife and I was married and we had a very simple quiet life in nature and we did nothing like one I go back to a lot is I was um and it was it was a tribal life and I was a man in that lifetime and it was like I wanted I don't maybe the Polynesian islands it kind of feels mm-hmm. like and um I chose to remove myself from the tribe and live isolated on the beach by myself crazy. <laughs> I see and I chose to live isolated by myself and be one with the water you know and like and I and I had a little hut on the beach and um but it was a simple life. Like my activity of the day was to catch food. 
Yeah, I feel like this huge message is like, that we're being encouraged in 2024 to be comp to to bring back the communion with the land. Yeah. Return yeah. to the land. Yeah. Return to the land. Sink back to the earth. Sink back mm -hmm. to her heartbeat. Sink back into that synchronicity. And it's just like a wave. She'll take you along with a ride. And that's it. And well, it's just and it effortless. See, and like I'm seeing this yes. picture, it's just right on that wave. Well, but you have to give in to you have go to give and in. connect with it and just let it flow. And the thing is about that wave, it'll wash away everything that Any is holding you. Yes. You know, and like that's the thing. Like wow. I, this and is something, well, no, it is, but like that's a big thing how I ended. It really kind of came to me at the beginning when we, on the last, our last mm -hmm. episode, how we said we were just, we recorded it on December 1st. And I said, I woke up and it was a new, like, yeah. I was new that day. Yeah. That day on, I've been kind of going with, um, I'm just water. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm water. I'm going to go with it. You know, like even like, think about it. Like say you, there's a mountain mm -hmm. and you need to get on across the mountain. You can like how every other way it's going to be, if you climb it, if you, whatever, it's going to be a struggle. But if you choose to be water and you just flow and kind of go into the nicks and the crannies mm -hmm. to get to the other side of that mountain, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know, like water right now, I'm really being affected and it might be because I'm cancer and I have a new moon in cancer, you know, like we just had the new moon in cancer, you know, so that it's a, it's a big moon for me mm -hmm. um, because that's at the end, that was at the end of December coming up. And so I'm really feeling my cancer, my water mm -hmm. energy in mm -hmm. me that I was born with. Um, I don't know what, but I'm really feeling the water and the connection yeah. to like the element and like, just like, and so whenever, even the kids, I would like, just be water. Just go with it. Right, We're just going right, with right. it. We're just going well, that with brings it. me back how mm -hmm. in the native teaching, yeah. they see the land as the turtle, yeah. which coexists in both yeah. the water and the land. But it grounds all that great spirit, yeah. all that knowledge that comes through the water by going with the flow and bringing and materializing, grounding it. And even in ancient Egypt, they were always, re they liked the beetle. It was a representation of the beetle. The beetle is, is the cancer. It's... In a normal astrology, the cancer is represented as, as the crab, mm -hmm. but in ancient Egypt, it's the beetle. Mm. And the beetle is all about water, abundance, and flow with the area around you. Right. You know? Right. Um, but like but like you said, when to Native American, I mean, it's not that far off. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. once again, no, it's the same. Teaching is so connected same, to the same life force energy. It's, it's the, the same, same gift, different, different package. Yes. yes. Same, same different gift, words, different package. Same intention. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, what matters is what resonates yeah. with you. This is too precious. I think this is perfect. Really. I think I think this is absolutely perfect as well. Um, <laughs> and I think that was just confirmation yeah. that my computer just binged. So yeah. thank, thank you. you so much. I hope you loved. Uh, welcome to season one. We are so excited to be season here. Season two, Katie. Season two, episode <laughs> one. Well, I yes. we hope we love you. You enjoy <laughs> All right. season two, episode one. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you for listening today. For more information, find us at our website, parentingintuitivekids.com. And we invite you to join our newsletter for upcoming workshops, interviews, and further perks. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you. Bye. Bye.